I work in the digital function at Northumbrian Water Group and we're looking at emerging technologies and capabilities and how those can benefit our customers. So things like AI is a key element of our plans moving forward in terms of how can we leverage that to deliver better outcomes for our customers. For things like the wastewater network that will be in a storm event, how can we use AI to better utilise the capacity in the network so that we can more effectively treat that water and put it back into the environment in a clean and efficient way. I think we're at a precipice now where robotics are, are really there. There's lots of low-hanging fruit. We can really adopt robotics and AI and autonomous systems and have really positive effects, both for business but for society as well. Um, something we talk a lot about, and I particularly talk a lot about, is the three Ds. So the dull, the dirty and the dangerous. And if we can take people out of those tasks, then that is, that's exactly why we exist, is to enable people to, to, to not be in those dangerous, the dull, the dirty situations and to deploy robots into those scenarios. So Spot's um, a, a robot from a company called Boston Dynamics and the real benefit of Spot is it can go to places where humans can't or can do things a lot more efficiently. So when people have concerns that machines like this, innovations like this are potentially taking jobs from people, how do you feel when you hear people having that discussion? Um, we have to look at it as an opportunity. So one of the biggest challenges we have in the construction industry as a whole is a shortage of skills. We're not attracting enough people into the industry and we're not necessarily retaining people. Um, by using a, sort of AR, VR, AI technology, things like Spot, all of a sudden Spot can do a role that frees up a human to then go and do a different role, a management role or another skill that we need in the industry as well. So we are a software uh, technology company. Um, we focus on delivering data-centric solutions to um, our clients. If we take the water sector, the water sector is um, obviously the organisations have been, along, have been around a long time under different ownership. That means there's a lot of information. Uh, the assets that the water companies um, run and, and manage, some of those will be older assets. And actually the key thing that, we're, that we are working with a number of water companies on is how do we gain more intelligence about that asset estate, which ultimately would lead to less service failure and ultimately enable the water companies to spend money on things which are going to drive better customer service, remove some of the challenges that are being seen in the press at the moment um, and ultimately create a better environment for people both from a customer's perspective but from a general societal uh, perspective. Ultimately AI is what we teach it at the end of the day and I think it's really important that if you're going to leverage AI as an organisation you have to teach it your own values and principles so it's very important that you maintain a human in the loop in the early days of implementing AI so that it can learn from our people, our behaviours and we can make sure that it represents our organisation with the same values that we would expect from our people.